Okay, hi, welcome back to the video. So this is a follow-up from the previous video I did, which was on the keyhole again. Now in this video, the reason why I'm doing it is because most recently Artari did a video herself in which she showed the keyhole and gave her opinion and thoughts compared and contrasted it to what it could actually be, some like a spider or some kind of what, mountain lion or something. But there was one screenshot which I saw in the video, probably one of the best ones I've seen yet, and it is much more clearer and it does show a lot more. It's exactly how I envisioned it when I was previously trying, you know, to get a good screenshot and capture, which I couldn't at the time. So I'm going to show you the screenshot now and then explain further. Okay, so just before I show you the new screenshot, as you know, just to bring things back, this was originally my screenshot and attempt at getting the eye on capture. Now this is Artari's capture. Do you see how much clearer it is? This capture is similar to this, but zoomed in more. Now as you can see here, it's pure blackness. But when you look at Artari's, there's something lurking in the darkness. Now this white stuff could well be cobwebs, you know, around the hole, filling it in slightly, loose bits, which waft in the wind but it's this bit here it's very weird now what i decided to do myself was to edit it further to use you know the filters and change the contrast the brightness and then all that stuff and this is the final thing i came to which makes it even more clearer there you go now one thing i do advise is for you who are viewing it on mobile or computer, do not zoom in, do not look close to the screen. Step back and have another look because it's clearer to see and to understand if you look at it from a distance. That's, that's how it works for me at least. So personally, the way I see it, I can definitely see an eye as well as the eyelids and wrinkles underneath the eye. And I can also see half of a nose, human-like, where it's got part of the hooked nostril at the bottom. Now, the way I see this is it looks like someone is peeking through and obviously the hole isn't big enough to show the rest of their facial structure. But from the looks of it, in my opinion, it honestly looks like some kind of human or humanoid face based off the eyes, the wrinkles and the nose. Now, if it is a mountain lion, um, I thought more animalistic noses are, you know, like a triangle or something. But this is more like a human nose, especially with the nostrils and the length of it thin up top and then widens lower down. So another thing what I did just very briefly, just to simulate that looking through the hole was just to do this. So yes, I wasn't looking through a hole because I didn't have a hole to look through, but I just thought, what about if you peek round a door and you only show half of your face? So as you can see, you've got the eye, a bit of the cheek underneath as well as the eyelids as well as part of the nose you see the nostril how it just peeks out now if you look back at that you can see a nostril um there and if you zoom out it becomes a bit clearer so i think it's time to move on to the drawing to make it clearer Okay, so I have a drawing which I drew myself and I'll show you now. This is based from what I see in the screenshot. So if we move over now, this is what I see. So the outer circle represents the keyhole itself. And then if we zoom in a bit, this 
shading basically is the cobwebs or whatever it is partially covering half of the hole itself that's the way I see it and it goes up a bit round there and stuff and then the darker bit here is the background so looking through the hole so total darkness and then the object that obstructs it is hiding in this corner you could say I tried doing the eye, I'm not good at drawing eyes. I think I might have made it a bit wide, but that is how I see it. So you've got the eye there, as well as the eyelid. And then you've got a few wrinkles underneath. And then if you look here, you can see half of the nose and the nostril. That's how I see it in the keyhole screenshot. So yeah, I thought I would draw it just to show you what I see and to make it clearer so it stands out more. So what I can confirm now, based off the last video I did when I was trying to see it from other people's viewpoints, I would say that's been successful as I was able to look at someone else's screenshot for the first time and I could actually see more of a complete face more human-like than animal and like someone else's point previously when they said they could see a nose that's true now I can see a nose as well so it's becoming clearer so yeah I thought I'll just do this short little video as a follow-up as I thought the screenshot was necessary as Atari captured a much better quality one considering you know Sean was moving at the time so there was motion blur now one thing that would be good for it to be confirmed whether the person comments in the comment section is the only question I have is what time frame was this I captured was it the same time frame as like my clip where the eye makes an appearance and then it shoots back down or did you get a screenshot after that because if you did then it makes it a little bit more interesting just um, say down below so yeah that ends the video for now hope you liked it and goodbye <sighs>